So my first remark is a quotation from Alexander the Great. Those, know, those of you who read the world history, as I did during my time, there was that great man, Alexander the Great. One time he was sitting and watching the people were participating, and he observed that all the applauses and all the cheers go to the participants and none to those who sit and watch. So he said that if I had the opportunity, I would get off this podium and be a participant and therefore receive the applause and the cheers. Today, I, I wish I had been a participant because everyone has gone before and now I've come at the tail end. Next time, I'll be a participant from one end to the end so that I can get some of the cheers and applauses. I should also add, again out of my text, official text, that uh, I happened to be holding my Bible before I came here. And I was only able to open the first page and the first paper actually. And it was saying, in the beginning, God made the heavens and the earth. And the heavens and the earth is land. When I was uh, in one of my public meetings, I quoted that and I said, land, and I stood out and did this. Land is the corridor. So when we come as people who manage land here together, we are doing the most important thing, land. And yet it is the most neglected aspect of all administration. Yet land is the cradle. Everything is defined in land. Those of you who are lawyers, you know how we define land. Anything on the surface to the center of the earth, and I don't know who ever goes to the center of the earth, because that means you can you can dig a hole and appear maybe down in South Africa. If you go to the center of the earth and then rising up to the sky, and I don't know who can go to the end of the sky, all that land. So everything surrounding us is land. And that's why the Chinese say land is the only thing which gives me security. Because when I wake up, the first thing I see is land. Everywhere the thing I see is land. The last thing I see before I sleep is land. And by the way, Ugandans know the first law in this country concerned land, the 1900 Uganda government. Land, the first thing. And the first laws that we talk about in this country concerned land. The 1900 Amendment, the 1908 Land Ordinance, the 1913 Survey and Allotment, the 1919 Official Estates Act, all these are laws concerned land. Yet today we are lagging behind. We are not even considered in the latest amendments of the laws to import technology into our law. We forget land. Even in building construction, at least in this country, I think the oldest structure in this country is the land office. Whenever I enter that land office, that land building, I wonder whether I enter the museum. People forget about land. Yet it's the most important thing in the real wealth of the people. 
the government woke up to bring the land into the modern technology when the land information system was introduced. Then they realized, hey, land is important. In fact, this country apparently has just woken up to the importance of land. Under Secretary, you know that actually, before maybe this year, land was, land, the Minister of Land was getting the smallest portion of the budget. Without his excellence the President, who recently decreed and ordered that at least 10% of what the learning information system has should be deducted as source and remain within the ministry. And if you call, I think it's you, Mr. Under Secretary, who briefed me. That the learning, the loan from the World Bank, which started the learning information system, was $200 million, payable over 40 years. Grace period six years. Without any increase in the rates, in the search, staff duty, transfer, no increase, but because of the learning information system, with not everything yet migrated in the system, within five years, the system brought into the treasury $300 million. Within the first period, the other system had paid itself off. But all this money was going directly to consolidate fund. And uh, the ministry was suffering where we get money to, to, to make sure the system works. But thanks to His Excellency the President, his recent directive that at least 10% be retained so that this information system can be maintained. And uh, I thank I'm very happy with that resolution that says, let us align the technology to the land system. And uh, Mr. Mukabe, you know that when we had a meeting at uh, the land information system, we agreed that we align the judiciary, the URA, all the government systems, the administrative general, all should be aligned within our system. What else? I think every facet of government should be aligned within the information system. And this is money, and I believe, and uh, since this conference has been heavily, heavily, had a heavy investment from the World Bank, who are the money people, I believe that we shall move forward. We need money for this, and you can, as you have said, I think. Madam Director, this must be the, our learning information system. I think you can credit it as the most successful World Bank project this country has ever had. No project has ever paid back to the rest of you. And the training. I'm very happy that I've had one of the people who initiated it. He whispered to me, thank you for continuing to be part of us. We cannot fail if the initiator of the vision is here with us. We cannot fail, and we cannot afford to fail. We can only go forward.